Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are, you guessed it, simple. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install VST plugins for FL Studio. Stay tuned. Okay, I found, first thing you're going to need is your VST plugin. Well, I found this website called dskmusic.com. I'll put a link in the description. And they had this music box I wanted. Well, I've already installed the music box, so I'm going to pick something else to install. So it's a brand new experience. I'm thinking this dynamic guitar. So I really like it. So we're going to open it up in a new tab. And then it's going to, um, you know, basically show you a video about it and all that jazzy stuff. And it shows you some key features, but we're going to download the Windows 64-bit uh, VST. Or 32-bit, depending on what operating system you have. If you have relatively new operating system, most likely you have 64. But I'll show you in a second how you can find out which operating system you have. Let's go ahead and open that. And we're going to let it download. Okay, once it's done downloading, what you'll get is a zip file, you know, in your archiving program, whether it be WinZip, 7-Zip, or WinWar, whatever. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this window over. And we're going to go to your computer. We're going to go to local disk C, or wherever it is you have it installed, for me, and for most people, it'll probably be their C drive. And we're going to go to our programs files, 86. Now, if you don't have an 86 and you just have a programs file, then most likely you have a 32-bit operating system. So let's go to 86. Type in I for image line. Right there. We got FS Studio 11. Click on it. And we got our plugins right there. Click on that. Our VST. And there we go. Let's go ahead and drag and drop what's inside this folder right here. Which you don't have to... Ooh, excuse me. What's this? The MSE. Okay, we got these files in here. I don't think I've seen these before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. And we're just going to drag and drop the folders and the DDL. The last one I did only had the DDL. But we're going to drag and drop both of them. So we'll go boom. Should hit you up. There we go. Should we got that done? Now let's open up FS Studio 11. Okay. Now that FS Studio 11 is open, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on our snare drum. Well, it could be any one of these. It ain't got to be the snare. Then we're gonna click Insert, and we're gonna go to the top where it says More, and we're gonna hit More, and this window pops up right here and we're gonna look for our guitar which let's see where is G for guitar let's see do 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 let me move this up just a little bit okay it is right there under VST 1 and 2 if you don't see your um your VST plugin just go down here click refresh and you can Scan and verify. It says it's unsafe, but fast scan is recommended, so just do a fast scan. Go ahead and check it. I don't know why it's red, but we're going to check it, and then we're going to go to right-click again, and we're going to go to insert, and look for our guitar, which our DSK Dynamic Guitars is there, which we got it right here. Let's see. Press W. And it actually sounded really good. You know, I'm going to be the next freaking Dr. Drake. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I am horrible at making music, but I like to do a little something, something in my spare time. So, But if you found this tutorial to be very simple and very easy and you did like it, please hit me with a like button. It would be very nice. Um, and if you want to go just an extra step further, you can always hit that subscription button. You know, that's really good. I mean, like... That makes me feel like you would jump off a building for me. You know, I'm just saying. It would be nice. And if you felt this tutorial to be too long, too lengthy or whatever, you know, or just plain retarded, 
you know just hit me with the dislike button and please post a comment in the video stating why you hated this video so much so next time when i make a tutorial i can better fix it um that's pretty much it this has been another simply tutorial where the tutorials are simple and i shall see you in the next video